person is the founder and CEO of Toss the Point, a new age marketing firm whose biggest objective is return on relationships. He is a motivational speaker and a trader. His name is a brand across Toastmaster fraternity. So I will from DTM Jain Narayan. Nobody cares that this. Spend time with family. I appreciate that. Uh, Tick all the bucket list. list. Bucket list. I'm not going to ask you what your bucket list is. Yeah. Take all the pending revenges. Take all the pending revenges. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do what you love the most. Do what you love the most. Propose to everybody who you didn't.
for me, this triangle is going to be very handy today. <laughs> very, very handy. Thank you for drawing that uh, for me because I didn't have content to speak. <laughs>
just don't care about the money. So even today, in talks the car, we don't have a rate cut. If somebody comes to us and says, hey, you need to do this job for us, and then the very next question they ask is, how much does it cost? We honestly and shamelessly tell them we don't know. And they're all stunned. You're doing a business for the last six years and you don't know what your work costs. No. We are in this field of creativity. Creativity is very subjective and you can't put a cost to it. And the day you stop putting cost to things, you will start appreciating those things. For example, if I tell you I'm going to give you 100 rupees, can you sit for another one hour? You all will start thinking. Oh, so you mean to say that my one hour is only worth 100? <laughs> and then I start negotiating with you. Okay, I'll give you 500. Oh, 500? Okay, no problem. I have a meeting, but I'll, I'll give you 10,000. <laughs> About three hours, I'll say. So <laughs> <laughs> you start valuing everything with money, right? With money. How much does this cost? Is it worth buying? Uh, can I take another two minutes? <laughs> Are you doing it in the reverse order? <laughs> Suddenly it came out. <laughs> All right, okay. So, because I just done with the introduction. <laughs> There's something called conclusion. All right. So this one example that I want to give, which is very important for all of us, and this will fall into this triangle. I love creativity, and I love doing things that is full of creativity. And I want to give my 100%. And when it came to people, I didn't have people. I was just looking for people. And suddenly I saw a post on Facebook, an NGO in Bangalore called BPAC, Bangalore Political Action <laughs> They work for the safety of uh, women and children. They work for uh, a basic civic uh, stuff in Bangalore. They take these problems to the chief minister's office. And they're like high profile people working together as a NGO. They wanted somebody to do some creative work for one of their campaigns free of cost. And I thought, okay, let me just go and pitch. At least I got some people who might take my work. I wrote to that lady saying that I'm, I'm willing to do work for you and I will do it free of cost. I didn't even know what the quantum of work was and how long I should be doing this and will I be able to do it. And she said, do you have any idea what you're getting into? I said, I don't know, but I know what you're asking for and I think I can do it. She said, great. And she gave me tons of work. Like, posters, brochures, a whole lot of things. My team was working day in and day out because I did not tell them that they are not going to get paid for it. <laughs> I'm the only guy who knew that I'm not going to get paid for it. And these people were excited that they got a new client. <laughs> and they can keep their work. And they were working day in and day out. And there was a time when my graphic designer delivered one poster at 1.30 a.m. I saw his mail going on to that lady at 1.30 a.m. And the very next day morning, 9 o'clock, he was in office. And he said, uh, yesterday was a deadline, but sorry, I took a little late and I ended up giving it at 1.30. I felt really bad because I was getting this guy to do something for nothing. But still I kept quiet. And the CEO of this uh, NGO, uh, uh, her name is uh, Revati. And Revati wrote a mail next day to me saying that, I just can't believe what you guys did. Are you sure you're doing it for, for nothing? Or did somebody in my team promise you that we're gonna pay you? And I said, no, you're not gonna pay for this. And the very next week, that organization decided that they will cut their relationship with their existing vendor and give that contract to us. And we got a contract from them for three years. And I just didn't imagine that I'll get this. So all the three work that we did for them. And we put in all the 100% that we had and what we loved. And eventually we got a contract for three years. And in between, they had a request. They said, that we want you to make a brochure for our yearly uh, annual uh, newsletter. Uh, I said, sure, I can. But then again, Revati called me and said, sorry, I don't have a budget. I won't be able to pay for this. I said, no problem. You know, Now that you have a contract with me, I'll do this. And I thought it'd be like a Toastmaster newsletter, three or four pages. right? It was a 36-page newsletter. <laughs> and we had to really spend our you know, time and money on it. And I put two, two people on to that job, and they started working on it. Almost took some 15 days to finish that. But they did a magazine that was like beyond Femina and uh, Women's Era and India Today that you can see. I was so glad that my team did this job. And one day, one lady calls me and says, my name is Chitra. I happened to see your newsletter on the desk of Revati. I really loved it. So I have a customer that I'm consulting with and the customer is in Chennai. Can you meet the CEO of that uh, company? Because they need some marketing job to be done. I said, sure, I'll do it. 
That's it. She gave me the uh, name of the guy, Sujit, and his number. Then I asked her, uh, where who you are? And she said, my name is Chitra. So I just came back to Bangalore. I used to be in New York. I'm the vice president of sales in Pepsi, and I report to England. <laughs> 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 Maybe did this network start building? <laughs> I'm just wondering what happened. And then she's very cool about it. I said, thank you so much, ma'am, and I'll go and meet Sujit. The next day, I go and meet Sujit. His uh, office is in Gindi. At the moment I walk in, he asks me, so when shall we start our work? I said, you don't want to know about it. No, Chitra told me. You don't want to know how much I put. No, I don't care. Because Chitra told me. So value of relationships. He values Chitra. And Chitra valued that work. And then she valued me, not knowing me. And that is how this circle works. So relationships are very, very important. There's nothing called ROI. There's only ROR, return on relationships. And your relationships <laughs> Lightly, please for heaven's sake, do not take people lightly. Poor it is your milk vendor, your vegetable vendor, the security at the gate. Everybody has relationships and they value relationships. And please value them because they're doing that for their relationships, which is very, very important. That is why gone are the days B2B and B2C, today it's H2H, H, human to human. How many of you see a hoarding and buy a phone? Today? You ask your friend, right? Yeah. We don't look for hoardings, we don't look for advertisements, they're all gone. Today we value people's impression of opinion about a product and that is what is very important. So my parting words with you would be build that relationships, value that relationships, give you 100% to that relationships, you will see your life really flourishing.